In the race to build practical quantum computers, size has always been a limiting factor. But researchers in Taiwan have just changed the game, creating the world's smallest quantum computer using a single photon. While most quantum computers require massive cooling systems and complex infrastructure, this breakthrough from National Tsinghua University fits in a box and operates at room temperature. But don't let its size fool you. This tiny marvel can perform one of quantum uh, computing's most challenging tasks. Shor's algorithm for prime factorization, the secret lies in their innovative use of a single photon's wave packet. By encoding 32 different time bins, think of them as quantum information slots, they've achieved what typically requires multiple qubits in traditional quantum computers. This is like fitting an entire library of information into a single grain of sand. To understand why this matters, let's break down how quantum computers differ from our everyday devices. Classical computers process information in bits, simple ones and zeros, like a light switch being either on or off. But quantum computers, they use qubits, which can exist in multiple states simultaneously through a phenomenon called superposition. Thanks to this quantum magic, these computers can solve certain problems up to 100 million times faster than classical computers. Just imagine what that means for our future. Let's talk about real-world applications. This isn't just about making quantum computers smaller. It's about making them practical. Imagine unbreakable encryption protecting your personal data, new drug discoveries happening in days instead of years. Climate models that can actually predict local weather patterns years in advance, and financial models that can analyze every market variable simultaneously. Now, let's look at traditional quantum computers, like those built by tech giants. They typically require temperatures nearly as cold as outer space, massive amounts of power, equipment that fills entire rooms, and specialized facilities that cost millions. But here's where the Taiwan team's breakthrough shines. Their photon-based approach eliminates all these barriers. Their device works at room temperature and could potentially be manufactured at a fraction of the cost. This isn't just an improvement, it's a revolution in quantum computing. The use of photons brings another crucial advantage. They're excellent at transmitting information over long distances with minimal interference. Think about what this means. We could create quantum networks, connecting these powerful computers across the globe, creating an internet more secure and faster than anything we've ever seen. Looking ahead, this breakthrough could revolutionize multiple fields. Artificial intelligence could train models in hours instead of months. Medical researchers could simulate molecular interactions for personalized medicine. Global supply chains could be optimized in real time. And our cybersecurity could become virtually unhackable. We're witnessing a pivotal moment in computing history. While early quantum computers filled entire rooms, we're now seeing this technology condensed into something that could one day fit on a desk or even in your pocket. This isn't just miniaturization, it's a fundamental rethinking of what's possible. The implications are profound. As this technology matures, we're not just looking at faster computers. We're looking at new ways to solve humanity's most complex challenges. From climate change to disease prevention, quantum computing could give us the tools we need to tackle problems we once thought impossible. Remember, every technological revolution seemed impossible until it happened. The quantum revolution isn't just coming, it's already here, and it's smaller than we ever imagined. In the end, perhaps the biggest things really do come in the smallest packages. Now let's take a look at how quantum computers will change our future. Picture this. Right now, somewhere in a lab that looks more like a sci-fi movie set than a traditional computer center, scientists are working with machines that harness the strange and beautiful laws of quantum physics. These aren't just fancy computers, they're the beginning of a revolution that will touch all of our lives. Remember how your grandmother used to tell you about life before smartphones? Well, our grandchildren will look at us the same way when they ask, what was life like before quantum computers? In the next decade, these mysterious machines will transform medicine in ways we can barely imagine. That cousin of yours battling a rare disease? Quantum computers will help design medications tailored to their exact genetic makeup. The same technology that once seemed like science fiction will simulate molecules with perfect accuracy, leading to breakthroughs in developing new materials from solar panels that could power entire cities to batteries that last weeks instead of hours. 
But here's where it gets personal. Our financial systems, uh, the ones handling your savings and retirement plans, will need a complete overhaul. Why? Because quantum computers will crack our current encryption methods like their simple padlocks. Don't worry though, they'll also give us unbreakable codes to protect our digital lives. Climate change, that overwhelming challenge we're all grappling with, Quantum computers will help us model complex weather patterns and design better carbon capture technologies. They might just give us the tools we need to preserve our planet for future generations. Yet with all this power comes responsibility. Just like the internet transforms society in ways nobody predicted, quantum computing will reshape our world in ways we can't fully grasp. Some jobs will disappear, while entirely new careers will emerge. Your children might become quantum algorithm designers or quantum ethics consultants. Jobs we can't even properly describe yet. But here's what gives me hope. Throughout history, humans have shown a remarkable ability to adapt and grow. Yes, quantum computers will change everything from how we fight diseases to how we protect our privacy. But at our core, we'll still be human, still sharing stories, still falling in love, still dreaming of a better tomorrow. The quantum revolution isn't just about processing power, it's about expanding what's possible for humanity. As we stand on the brink of this new era, remember, the future isn't something that just happens to us. It's something we create together. One discovery, one decision at a time. And who knows, maybe somewhere out there, a young mind is already dreaming up ways to use these quantum machines to solve problems we haven't even discovered yet. This is Alex from AI Daily, and thanks for listening.